All right, it's time for some good old-fashioned programming. So today you guys have asked me to show you my solution to the amazing sentence machine. So instead of making one massive program here, what I'm going to do is show you a couple of shorter programs and break this up into a couple of smaller ones. So this first video is going to show you how to display your input in all capital letters and in all lowercase letters. So if we were to take a look at our program here, I've got my basic import statement here. Now a lot of you have been importing java.awt at the top. Now because this particular program isn't going to do anything graphical, I'm not drawing any lines or anything, I don't need to import that package and take up the extra memory. So I'm going to leave that out. Um, I've created my, my console and actually made one here and I'm ready to go start doing some coding. So the first thing I need to do is declare any variables. And remember we want to declare all our variables at the beginning of this section up here uh, so that we know where they all are and we can have a comment ex explaining what they're used for. So the first variable I need obviously is going to be one for the sentence. Um, this is going to be the one that I'm going to be manipulating. So the sentence to be manipulated and then if I have a sentence and you manipulate I gotta get an input so I need to do a prompt first every time I input I gotta start by giving a prompt so I'm gonna say uh, please enter your sentence and then I can actually get my input so sentence equals see that read line and again I'm using read line here instead of read string because if I put read string here it would just get one individual word from whatever the input but I want the entire sentence or sentences that they input so I need to use the read line method instead of read string so now that I have the sentence I need to output it all in caps I could just do a straight up print statement here to output it but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable I'm going to make a variable for each one of my solutions so that number one it keeps it a little bit more organized and number two if I ever need to go back and use the data it's been stored in a variable for me so I don't have to redo the, the code over and over again every time I want something all in caps so I'll call this one caps and again I put my comments in right away so I don't get confused so the sentence displayed in all caps and I'll put a little comment for my section here so all caps. And now all I need to do is convert it. So we can do that using the sentence dot to uppercase method. And this I just remember straight up from the uh, strings video we talked about the other day. Um, or I could go to the Java docs for string to take find a list of all the methods. Um, what this one is going to do, it's going to take my sentence convert it all to uppercase and then store it and return it back so I can store it in this particular variable. When it does this, it actually leaves my original sentence unchanged so I don't have to worry that this sentence is now going to be modified. It still stays as the same old sentence. So all I need to do now is print it out and I've got that displayed all in caps. So next thing we had to do in our, on our assignment was to do it all in lowercase letters so I can just go back and essentially just copy and paste this down below, but this one's going to be all lowercase. So this means I got to change it to lowercase here, and I store this as lowercase and print out lowercase and make a new variable here in lowercase. And again, I could skip that by just saying c dot print line sentence to lowercase. But I want to store it all in a variable just to keep myself a little bit more organized in case I need any of this data later. So if we compile this and run it, we can see I like to eat apples and bananas. Yay, Rafi. And there we go, all capitals, all lowercase. And that's it for the first part. Tune into the second part coming up so that we can see how to uh, find the first location of a word in the sentence that we just found.